All right, fishy folks, got home from work and there are two boxes for me waiting. This big one is fish, I believe from California. Uh, should be red cobra guppies. And this I believe is a package from California black worm. I think I ordered algae wafers or some sort of pleco type food. So I'm gonna open that, but I wanna show you what else is going on. Uh, I'm setting up these two tanks. I have the tanks drilled. Uh, I just gotta scrape the paint off, which I'll do at some point, probably not today. And I have holes drilled in the drain pump and drain pump, drain pipe in the back. And I will uh, just plumb them real quick. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put the, the two new guppies in here. I don't need a water fill line because they have to go through quarantine where they don't get water changes. I do need big filters though. So I'm gonna have to look and see what I got for filtration, extra filtration. I'm sort of running low on filters. I know I have some of the China stick on the side filters, not some of these big ones that are already uh, cycled or seasoned or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I gotta find some, see what I got. Um, Cause I don't really know. So let me look around, let me get water in the tanks and then I'll, uh, I'll film me opening. Oh, I have this, uh, I think Dwarf Sag. Um, I got it at auction and I'm gonna use it to float in some guppy tanks and see see how it does. So, stand by. Fishing was a disaster, I understand. I'll be right back. Well, all right, fishy folks, got a little water on me. Got the tank set up, drained. Um, we're gonna open some boxes. We're gonna open the fish first. Got my scissors. So bad so far. Almost there. Haha, -ha. no problem. Oh, there's tape. Killing me over here with the tape. All right. Nice little cut piece of styrofoam. I like it. Oh, wrapped everything in styrofoam packing peanuts this time, not a fan. Two heat packs. She wasn't messing around with these. Uh, yeah, these are cobras, many different sizes. Females are separated. Let's take a look. So I set up two tanks so I can separate males and females. I can always put them together or leave them separate, but if she's done the work of separating them, why would I put them together? All right, so, uh, some cobra guppies, reds and greens. That's what happens, they throw both. A couple of nice big adults, lots of juveniles. I'm gonna put them in the tank. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take one of the. Whoa, that was a pretty cool rubber band trick. You didn't see it. It was off camera. I'm terrible. She fire me. I think she. I don't know. Nice thick bags, though. This bag definitely have water in it. And you see? Polyfill. Overall, a nice job of packing for someone who doesn't ship fish to make money. Pretty happy. And some added duckweed, that's always a bonus. All right. Uh, boom. All right, let's look at the females. Couple of nice big females in here. Of course, you can't see. All right, let's see if I can show you this rubber band trick. I don't know if I popped it or I must have ripped it. This rubber band looks like it's from 1912, but that's okay. It did its job. Now it's doing its job too well. Look, scissors for their intended purpose. Nope, missed. Well, there we go. All right. Again. 
again, the inner bag leaked, which is fine. That's why you double bag them. And a bag full of female guppies. Look how big that one is. See it? Yeah, baby. Many different sizes, but looking good. It looks like everybody's alive. I'm going to go drop it in the tank. All right. Heat packs are still warm, and there's two of them. That was nice. Thank you. And packing peanuts, and she she lined the box with the styrofoam. Very well done. Very well done. I'm gonna definitely reuse the box. We'll let that settle itself. These are all my used boxes I have to reuse. Used boxes I have to reuse. Shall we see what's in this box? Because I don't I don't really know. I think it's like I said, food. So let's see. If only I had some sort of instrument to open this. Packing slip, Ignite USA. I don't really know what this is. I think this is a gift from somebody. Oh! <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. So I had a problem with a Contigo mug and they warranted it. I actually had a problem with two Contigo mugs, but they sent me one. But it took like three months, so I don't really care. It's a nice mug, but it's not fish related. That was slightly embarrassing. So it happens when you do stuff live, right? This is a neat little box. I could probably ship something in this box. Boom, put it in a box pile. Yes, yes, the fish room is a disaster. Yes, I know. Me and my coffee cup. Now, what shall we talk about? Nothing. I'm going to go eat dinner. When I'm done with dinner, I'll come down here and let the fish out. See ya. Alright, fishy folks. Plop and drop time. First, we'll do the mamas. That's females. Alright, what do we got going on here? Rubber band. Really? Nope. Uh oh. What do I do with my scissors? Ah, in the disaster. I know. If your fish room was organized, you wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free to come over and organize. I cook. All right, so these are all the females. We're gonna plop and drop. Make sure everyone's out of the bag. Take the Yeah, out. All right. Females are in. Let's do the lads now, the boys, shall we? So, what did I do? I. I uh, used a gang valve to split one vacuum line into three. And that's running two sponge filters, one in each tank. And uh, it's not going to be permanent. I'm going to be redoing the airlines, uh, which is the plan. Let me get these in the tank and then we'll talk. So the plan is to uh, redo the air lines and the water lines uh, blue and clear, make it neat, you know, take down the excess PVC that's up top. That's been my plan for about three months now and uh, yeah, hasn't been done. Usually in April sometime I take a week off because uh, Japan is closed and so I don't really get a whole lot of work done. Uh, so maybe I'll take a couple days during that week or and, and take care of the fish room. I don't know. We'll see That's we'll call that a plan and go from there um, All right, really nothing to see they're still getting used to their tank. I'm gonna drop some meds in there uh, I use EM erythromycin general cure both APA pro APA a 
I use EM erythromycin and General Cure. Both of those are API products. And uh, then from Aquarium Solutions, I use ICX. Uh, my procedure is very simple. It's the same procedure that Core from Aquarium Co-op uses. Um, and it's dose, the normal dose for however big the tank is. Don't change water for a week. Don't dose again, and if you don't see any problem, you're usually good. Now, if these were guppies from overseas or a fish store I didn't know or a breeder I didn't know, I would probably um, prophylactically treat for worms with some fenbendazole flake. I'd probably put feed them fenbendazole flake for the first uh, three or four days just to make sure because you never know. Almost every guppy I see in a store looks could be sick let's put it that way so all right fishy folks that's it for this uh unboxing video check out the website we're adding new products every day not really every day maybe every week every month i don't know we're adding new stuff www.michaelsfishroom.com the site looks fantastic thank you to daniel anderson from hypnotic aquatics if you uh, have a business and you want some website help, you want a website, you want a new website, you want to upgrade your website, email Daniel at Hypnotic Aquatics. What is his email? Maybe info at hypnoticaquatics.com? That'll work. If that doesn't work, email me and I'll get you in touch with him. All right, that's enough of me rambling on with this nonsense. Hope everyone has a great day. And um, leave a comment. Perhaps even like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. All right, fishy folks. Here is the male Cobra Guppy tank from the unboxing I just did that you just witnessed. And uh, there's a couple of really nice males in there, big ones. And then there's a lot of juveniles, which will grow out. You can see I had some uh, crushed coral already in the tank. And then I put a little, bit, a little bag in there just to uh, boost up the hardness a little bit. My water is pretty hard, but um, I like to make it, I like to boost it up a little bit for the guppies. Here are the females. Look how big that female is. Um, I'm trying this dwarf sag as a floating plant. I bought it at an auction and it, it really wasn't what I thought it was going to be like. And uh, quite frankly, it was just too hard to plant and I'm too lazy. So I'm going to use it. It was floating. They, I guess on the bag it said it was grown floating. So. Uh, I'm going to use it and see what happens with the gups. And uh, you can see there's some some uh, crushed coral in there as well. So uh, everybody's doing well. We didn't have any loss, which is nice. And uh, the shipping was done very well. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to let them grow out. I don't know exactly. When they're done with quarantine on the side, I mean, some of those females definitely look like they're pregnant. I have to talk to the, the person that sent them to me and see if they were in the same tank for any given time uh, to see if they actually are pregnant. They just look big. Um, I don't. I didn't really see the gravid spot, to be honest with you. But um, like this one does look kind of skinny, right? So I treated with uh, you know the normal three, as I said before. There will be links in the description below for you to check them out. Go to my Amazon store and uh, buy away. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this video, guys. Check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Uh, and uh, there's always new strains going up. We have shirts up there. There may or may not be a sale this weekend. So check that out. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Hope everyone has a great Easter. I will have a video on Sunday. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. And next week I'm in Canada, so... I'll be filming some videos ahead of time for you guys. I am going to visit Fishman and Angelo, who live pretty close to each other and live in Ottawa, which is where I'm going. I'm very excited to meet them in person and see uh, maybe their fish rooms and, you know, maybe just talk fish and hang out. So, hope everyone has a great Easter, a great Saturday, a great Passover if you're part of the tribe. And uh, Premier League is back, so go Manchester United. Well, all right, fishy folks, come home from work, two boxes, 
This is another box of fish from uh, the customer of mine who had a ton of babies. And this, I think, is food uh, from California. All right, fishy folks, here is the male cobra guppy tank from a customer. Uh, I sold them to her, I don't know, maybe six months ago, four or five months ago, three months ago. It was last week. I don't know when it was, but she had a bunch of fry and stuff that she sent me. Thank you very much. So I, she said, when she sends them, the, oh, holy Jesus.